Good morning, and we welcome you back. It has been nearly 10 years since rapper actor Tupac Shakur died. Now, a new book is introducing fans to a Tupac that not too many of them knew. It is the second book in your Quick Read series. Yeah, Quick Read, because we know that my attention span is like, um, yeah, it is the second book indeed. It is called Inside a Thug's Heart. It is, it, it is in bookstores now. And one of the other things that's mentioned in this book is how involved the actor was in in taking care of his own family, mm -hmm. actor, rapper, you know. Uh, in one of his letters, he tells artists uh, who wrote it how he was taking care of his mother, sister, cousins, uncles, and aunts. Here's Susan Hendricks. What that? Inside the book, you published letters that you wrote Tupac in prison, and he wrote you back. I read the book last night, and he really opened up to you. That's what a lot of people are surprised about, um, the fact that he did not know me, and based off my first letter and phone conversation, he constantly wrote um, and just opened up as much as he did. Why do you think he did that? People have a preconceived notion that he may be cold and kind of shut off. Why do you think he opened up so much to you? I think at that point of his life, at that stage of his life, or where he was at the time, he was looking for something... Um, Probably feeling a little vulnerable, a little lo alone, not that he didn't have people in his life um, that could comfort him, but I think he was just looking for a little bit something different. And all I can say is that he connected with me to the point where I guess he felt like I supplied that to him. He definitely connected with you. In one of the letters, he talks about his upbringing. He says that his mother was on drugs when he was young, his father left. What were you shocked to find out about Tupac? Were you surprised to hear about that as well, his upbringing? Well, no, because I had heard that several times. I saw part of him and his story when he tells it, when he raps about it, um, the whole nine. I think I was more surprised with how compassionate he was and how normal to, you know, he, the media portrays him sometimes with all these connotations around his name that he's just so much of a monster type person and I just did not meet that person. I met the man and not the rapper. Angela, quickly, we just have a few seconds left. What do you say to critics out there who may say that you're trying to capitalize on Tupac's death? What do you tell them? I don't really worry about that. I don't make that my focus. What I focus more on is um, hoping that people are able to see another side of him, to read his letters and enjoy that he had more to offer than just what everybody portrayed all the time. It is an intriguing read. Again, it's called Inside a Thug's Heart. Angela Artis, thanks so much. Susan Hendricks, once again, uh, with that interview. We should also point out that uh, Tupac's mom actually endorses the book, and she thinks it's a wonderful really? one, yeah. And so your point about these um, series, and, and books that you like to read, perhaps at the beach or as you're traveling, exactly. easy with reads. Exactly, Memorial Day somewhere. coming around, you know, we might want to read some quick books. And tomorrow we have a really interesting one. <laughs> Something along the lines of, how do you know if he's the one? Exactly. <laughs>